Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting between two episodes eight and nine of season two of The Dangers in My Heart. So let's go ahead and get started with episode eight in three, two, one, go. You so late though? Come on. Even though she doesn't want your ass. I don't know about this. Good job, good boy. Usually.
I mean, he's gonna take that to heart. she be at the gym. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> uh oh. Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> Girl. Girl, you're killing me, babe. It's okay. I, I was too. <laughs> I, I was not the greatest in shooting hoops. Make that shot count, babe. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Aw, honey. Right, and then you can go ahead and invite your little girlfriend. Baby's 
Welcome. <gasps> she looks so cute. Yeah, I thought you wanted to be called Kyo. Okay, confront her about it. Like, hella close. Her birthday. <laughs> I, I love it. I love how she he tells her now. <laughs> Just because, duh. still look cute though. Right. <laughs> 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 Go on.
Exactly. So just chill out. I know that feeling, that drunk sleep. Right? You should have ate more. Why you you shouldn't have a rebellious face. You just uh, that's every teenager. Sometimes this still even happens as an adult. Ah. <laughs> My thing is, I thought he was going to, like, either 
whisper something in her ear or try to catch her ear. Oh, that would have been so cute. But no, he, he's still afraid. It, it's so cute, but so, he's grown so much. Also, at the beginning of the episode with the freaking cookie. Oh, <laughs> uh, Yamada. With the damn no. <laughs> Which is hilarious because, I mean, any role that I've seen him in besides this, he plays like a very serious character and such, and I love those type of characters that he plays because he does them so freaking well. So to play a guy that he's like still serious, but he's finding love, it, it's really cute, but I'm glad she was able to spend time with him on his birthday and tell him happy birthday and poor baby just <laughs> come by. Also, that made me hungry. And the only thing I had is, like, a freaking apple pie. And I'm just, that's a, just a rectangle squared apple pie. <laughs> so, it was just there the whole entire time? <laughs> hey, what? I, I mean, because... <laughs> for a second. I, I love how she changed not once but twice. Technically really three times. And she was like yeah, mm, this outfit ain't like rocking it let me go with this one. And then once she found out that Yamada was a model she's like, oh. I need to rethink my whole freaking wardrobe right now. Let me try to wear this. But regardless, both of her outfits were cute. I mean, she she seems like the Mm, we could say girl next door us. That's more like if I can think of this more Yamada, that's like her style and esque and stuff. But this the outfit for today's episode is so good. A ten out of ten the book of recommend. Even what's her face's mom looked really good. Once again, as a girl, as a woman stealing so many different styles. Cause yes, I love me I, I love dressing down in a really good t shirt and some freaking, you know, joggers or whatever and stuff but you know i love me wearing i love wearing me some jeans i look good in jeans um i just feel like now i think you know as a kid younger i like i used to love wearing the hell out of skirts and such i mean because you know yeah essentially like my legs and shit and then as a teenager i fucking hated them <laughs> like so bad to where i was like no one is ever fucking seeing me in a short ass skirt now I haven't really, well, I could, oh, I'm fine with dresses, but, like, I haven't worn, like, an actual skirt skirt since I was, like, a teen, so, maybe one day, one day, one day, me and my thick ass thighs, <laughs> gotta pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode nine, <laughs> alright, episode nine, and three, two, one. Jesus.
You still can. You have time. You have cramps, all right. Yeah, I really didn't imagine that you guys all would have hung out together. <laughs> yeah, she's got to go home. Oh, hold on. Send it, damn it.
right. Yeah. No! No! Her feathers is cute. All you can do is wait now. <laughs> How you doing, Daddy? Nah, I would love a hug.
look like him. He's so cute. Shit, I need a man like that. But the fact is that they both said it to her parents. Like, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> what if she's pig bastard? <laughs>
It's okay. At least you're fine. And nothing happened to you. Yeah, we thought you were extremely hurt. Or worse. God, it was only her mom that pushed her, which made her drop her phone and such. You do feel bad that she, you know, doesn't really have a phone right now, but no, just the confessing to her mom and then confessing to her dad is just too much. Like, so much he's he's everything he's looking everything i need right now in a man just crazy oh my god <laughs> oh god I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh my god! <laughs> so fucking sweet, fucking idiots. Oh my god! Ah, uh, this damn show always exceeds my fucking expectations for it. Just okay. Oh, that hurts. But no, seriously. At the end of the day, it was really cute for their confession. It's just really funny that the person who is pig buster also is just a model and who is just very much obsessed with, you know, Yamada. And I get that because it's Yamada, for Christ's sake. She She's a really good person and such. Once again, her outfits are just, like, top tier. Top tier. I felt like they're hella better than freaking um, Chizu from Rent a Girlfriend. And that says something. Because, like, when I was watching Rent-A-Girlfriend from season one, and then, like, what, the two, four episodes of season two before, I was like, yeah, I'm done with this show. The outfits were, like, literally top tier, but I was just like, oh, no. Now I'm like, I really don't give a fuck about any of her outfits and such. And, yeah, I get to see the Rent-A-Girlfriend as the useless goddess again, so that's all I care about at the end of the day. But, no, this was so fucking cute. The fact that he also, like, ran to, like, her house and waited for her dad to come home. 
Uh, that that is dedication, extreme dedication, and the fact that he also apologized about the sleepover. Boy, seriously, where how, how where the freak have you been all her freaking life? I mean, these two they're just destined to be together, and it's just let's fucking go, like goddamn it. I, I need something, because we are very, very much at the end of this. I think we only really have, I think, um, four more episodes before I'm officially done with this and before I start my next show, but, oh, God. I'm not ready for this to be over, because it feels like I we just, like, scratched the surface of this show, and it feels like potentially there could be possibly more for this. I'm not sure, you know, especially, like, if season three was confirmed by the time this ended, but who knows? If it's not, I won't cry. That's all. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes eight and nine of season two of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 10 and 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.